Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Bad puppy. Oh. I'm back at the hunt. The hunt, the hunt, the hunt. Alright, what what did I all I did I do since I've been gone? I haven't really paid attention. Barbarians. Okay, it's the middle button. Alright. Inventory. I'm only level two. Sabo. Twenty-seven, twenty-five. I got a lot of food on me. I forget. I purchased the food for the fight. Should have got alchemy, alchemy ingredients so I can craft. Um. Some bombs. Or hybrid oil or bombs. I need one more wolf sliver. So that means I need to go and hunt some wolves. Freak. If I can get at least a couple more wolf slivers, then I could, uh, what's it called? Thank you, Roach. Oh. Well, that was bad on me. Let's -a go, Roach. Alright. I have to go over here. Hunt some wolves real quick. 
think. Go, go. Slower. Not so fast, Roach. That was my bad. Slow now. Whoa. Come on. Hey, yes. Whoa, Master Witcher. Talk to the merchant. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was filled with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. Fine, I'll go. But you know I find that box. Cart tracks rode off into the swamp.
Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Carts riddled with arrows. I should take a look around. An arrow. Didn't mention this. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Come on. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver. An arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps. And never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. God darn it. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him.
Oh, you're not getting away. Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now, who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gilmer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. Soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Faltes' memory. Give me 30 crowns? Should have turned you in. I would have got way more. Eh, I'm a simple witcher, I suppose. Eat an apple, a baked apple, uh huh. <laughs> hee. I think those are dogs. What the f Damn your ugly. what I needed. I guess I gotta go kill the other guy. Come on. Oh, he's in the ground. Oh. <laughs> mutagen. Another mutagen. Another wolf's liver? I mean, I need those wolf livers. A rabbit? Where is this? Raw meat? Well, 
That's good, I found them. Um, you know? They're getting killed and everything in sight. Oh, hello. Um, they were just killing for for fun. Not even to hunt or eat. Says something's here. Don't I like it? I just like these. Because it says something's right here where I'm at. Huh. Huh. Alright. Um. I mean, now I can make this. Put in my mutagen. I got him. Um. See, where was I? Um, character. I do have a mutagen. I mean, all my signs will be more intense. Ooh. And it'll fill up quicker. Yep. There we go. I can't wait until I, uh... Kill some creatures that have green mutagens in them. So I can upgrade that. Which I need to have OP health. Which my regeneration just is ridiculous at that point. And then I am like the super soldier. Talk to Vesemir. Not so fast, Roach. I do need to sell some stuff, but go, go. Let's go talk to this mirror. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. The Guardian Garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. 
It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Duh. <laughs> Got the buckthorn. Like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Yes. Tredegor, Minus the piss. The trash heap. You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's, Let's go hunt the griffin. I one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, let's go, Roach. Whoa there, Roach. All right, Roach. He's found amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Yes, we can start. Let's start. Very Once nice. Bait scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. In the shade of the birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Cam Moor. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Cam Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. <laughs> Gambling. Yes. Watch out. Oh, shit. How you like that silver? It's about to dive.
It's fast! Run through the field like little bunny foofers. Just ah. going to chill up here, huh? Dead. Dun dun. Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. Man spent his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black one. Already our horses. Meet me at the inn. I have to go over here and collect these. Uh, I could have made bomb over here. That's great. Yes. I become the richest witcher. Yes, very nice. I forget um, stuff. Did I get everything down here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, then I got everything down here. Thank you. We go and collect the bounty from the black ones. Place of power should draw from it.
Yes. of power. Roach. We have much work to do here. Quite. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. Oh, no, no! By the gods, no! What?
Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Come on. Let's go. I like how it's still <laughs> is <laughs> the horse is still buggy. Witcher. Oh, he's over here at the fucking bar. Come on, Roach. Uh. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. We'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let Isis go. for attending to the no. birth, and you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Leave me be!
recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. <laughs> I guess head pops off. Ugh. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. Get Ugh. away. Nah. Sh should have got her head off. Face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. As far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera. Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Kaer Morhen. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <sighs> This tomorrow, all right? After the audience. A deep tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of war, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Katwin, we shaved the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with rice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege 
of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Ari. Voltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on me. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to me? An assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes, and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Jack. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Mui. Luck me. Yes. And once again meddled in the affairs of the might. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. I don't know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tassel to bits. Watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That alliance has been dissolved, irrevocably. I killed Letho and Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Count. Good luck with your audience. Hmm. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. A shame I have no time.
touch tight in the waist, but it will do. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Novgorod. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. fluidity and grace but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings come with me the gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to and using the appropriate title your arch magnificency I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition your majesty will suffice Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Your Majesty. Ugh. Im Grimi et Art Kert. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me? Yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Sorry, leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them, and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. That guy's fucked. This audience is finished. Leave now. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. Hmm. 
And it's and past Bacan. noon. Bacan. Calm yourself. What? Do you know who you're talking to? Ah. I'm Herivart the second, Prince of Elan. The scene has fallen over. I'm late to wait here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm late. Radsliden er enægt af stunden af sit sauer anlæg. Det er sit ældre. Prinsen er så vagt. Jeg skal ikke sige det. He should see me to retrieve his possessions. That will sharpen you. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice, so please, let's not belabor the pros and cons, and instead, focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track her down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. <laughs> I've sensed them on my trail, hunting them for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback. As soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. 
And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Ooh. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I do all this. Vedimi. Directly out of northern Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king, Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools. Particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. Hmm. He's safe for now, <laughs> until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Bar Emrys will deal with them once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus. We've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Oh, huh. have to deal with the Bloody Baron. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. 
meaning. How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. <sighs> I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Jarl manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Ugh. Huh. Scars healed nicely. They added the last wish. Pearls of the North. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. I am Medetta. I 
This works. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizina. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. To hurry to find her. What it is? Witcher. Oh, valley of plenty. Loading the the best video game ever to load of loadings a valley of plenties loadings that's a good to your witcher hmm. hello five days later I got back to the city, or the little crap town where I killed the the animals, the griffins. Ooh. Murder! A flock of crows. The shit. Dun 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 dun. Move it. Ah. All right, throw me down.
Stupid. Wild dog. Oh. The toxins. Ooh, Spain. Hmm. What was I? This is way better. I mean, it's good. Hey, a little eggs. Hopefully I need to get an apple in my life. Very nice. Go to the inn at the crossroads. Where all the people were hanging. Ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist, no. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I've not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Hmm. 
Ooh, look at these little sons of bitches. Hello. Monster bone. So fast, Roach. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. I haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, Vorka. Who's this? Brave warrior, looks like. 
Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking death. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. Only got one prick, though. In case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hut. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think of himself. I say probably disguised as the old guy. Orson's always managed that. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning, saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. The mist. Faster. Go, go. Whoa. Be whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye. A 
It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. <sighs> took him all. <sighs> the sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. through and through. Hendrick hmm. screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. Hmm. 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 Got another ammo dog. Well dog. And let's see. Traces of ice around the footprints. Really? are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. <laughs> Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. should do some cleaning.
was left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or... Mm. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Come on, Roach. Let's get That's to it. it. I think we're gonna head to the Baron's castle. castle
Depends who's asking. A witcher. Want to talk to him? Huh. Yeah. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cero. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we have none but him. Open the gate. Sergeants! Ardle! Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist, no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives, or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. Zima. Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after me own heart. <laughs> hmm. With Foltes dead and the Talis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the Blobtits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blobtits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Mm. 
Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Sitting. That's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. <sighs> Later. There was a white scream that lasted forever. But somewhere there was a story about a swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Oh, I had two beasts. That was close. I must leave this place. Where's the little boy? Open you the tree. A little girl. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though, also, just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Tell me where you live. In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up.
Yeah. Yeah. What's the little kid? You can come out now. My, you're brave. My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look, there's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts. Stay here. I must see something. Shot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. A bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm. What's this? Poor kid. Hey, that's horrible. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley. Hey, yeah, Helen. Helen, puppy, puppy, puppy. The wolf puppy, king puppy. will feel terrible, terrible pain. Oh, you want God's end? You're smart. You want God's end? You these things. Did your father okay. teach you? Let me get to another save father. point. My uncle. After this. Uncle Vesemir. Uh, the Look it, show me the way out of here. Okay, I'm assuming I can't make that potion unless... often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. It 
It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. <laughs> what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Give him a trumpet. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've had naught, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You, in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh! Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. She didn't even wash her fucking hands. For eating, <laughs> just covered in blood. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Deal. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. 
I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Our bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. that loots hmm fresh flowers he expects them to return any minute takes hope walls a different color Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm. It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. of the candlestick and wine stains somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint yeah Erveloose scent hasn't died wonder where it'll lead me off. Could find something else, though. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? I won't find much else here. Prick.
<coughs> Done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. <coughs> yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Wanna have a chat with this Pella? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goats. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Alright. As always, add, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.